the Bitmoji craze. It's why you're here. It's driving everyone crazy. Everybody feels like they have to do it. I'm not, personally, but I've learned about it so that I can help other people. It's not hard to post your Bitmoji classroom at the top of your page. So you've already went and watched the videos and you and you stole or you borrowed or you copied someone or you just made your own. You have your Bitmoji classroom. I don't think they're going anywhere. So for me, I'm just going to have to deal with it. But you already got it made. It's there. Might as well know how to post it at the top in the best way possible. You got all your links and all that fun stuff. I'm going to show you the real quick, the real easy way to make it uh, right at the top of your news feed in Schoology for your kiddos. Let's get started. Okay, so Schoology page, wherever you want to put it, that's that's what we're doing. So you want to make an update. So you're gonna you're gonna click on updates. When it all gets processed, you're there. What you want to do at the bottom is go over to the third tab that says resource. Click on it. When we do the resources over on the side, over on apps, what we want to do, go to your Google Drive. Oh no, something went wrong. That's fine. Let's exit out. Let's try again. Go over here, apps, Google Drive. There we go. Sometimes it doesn't pull up. It's been doing that for me. It might not do it for you. That's fine. Bitmoji drawings. Now, I used a Google drawing for mine. Again, I don't have a Bitmoji in my classroom. Um, I think if you only have one slide, Google drawings is the best way to go. If you think you need help on that, I can show you a real easy way to do that. Let me know in the comments. I can make a video for that. Otherwise, you can find it. Um, somewhere else I'm sure but I don't care to make a quick one if you don't know anything about Google drawings and you'd like me to make a video on that but to post your Google drawing or if you're posting a Google slide it's fine same thing find it in your Google Drive go over to the little cog and go down to import embed now sometimes for whatever reason import embed is not an option in Schoology if you do not have this option don't panic. Don't freak out. Don't try to throw stuff everywhere. Just go to the link in the description. There's a video showing you how to make this option pop up if it's not there. Once you have that there, click on it, embed it. You have your picture or your Google slide ready to go. Your links work. Here's the kicker. If you want it to go to the top of your page and stay at the top of your page before you click post, there's a little plus sign with a cloud symbol and a little gold bell. You want to click that arrow, then post it. All right. Now that puts it at the top as an announcement. So when I look at my materials page, it's at the very top. All my folders are at the bottom. I, both of my links work. I'm good to go. That's all there is to it. Once, once you've done all the hard stuff of making your classroom, making it all pretty, it's really easy to post it at the top. All your links should work. Now, if I edit it, I don't have to change anything. If I go edit this Google Drawing, it'll still be there ready for me whenever I need it. It'll automatically update. I don't have to redo it at all. Hope this was helpful. If you have any other questions or you have any suggestions or things that you want to see or you're not sure about, I'll make a quick easy video. Leave it in the comments or send me an email, mrcoachmiller at gmail.com. I'll be glad to help you any way that I can. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching this far. Subscribe. Tell your teacher friends. That would be great. Um, thanks for coming. This is Mr. Coach Miller's Math and Tech.